Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. I feel like you have probably seen me like this at least twice in the last two videos. But yeah, I'm back again with another vlog. Today is a nice chill day, so I thought it was the perfect day to start a vlog. I hate starting them when things are a little bit too chaotic and all over the place. I'm about to make myself a quick bite to eat. Maybe I'll sit outside and eat because it's a really nice day today. I'm also working on a what I wore in a week right now, which will have been the last video I uploaded. So if you want to go and watch that, I will link it at the top of the screen. Just picked some kale from the garden because all of my kales are like ready at the moment. So I've picked some of this for dinner tonight. I've also put my my tomatoes and cucumbers out to adjust to the temperature and look at what I have found that there that little purple thing there that's a broccoli I am so excited afternoon snack of some shredded wheat with banana, blueberries, raspberries, my favourite peanut butter which I will show you in a second if you haven't heard me talk about it in the vlogs, and then also some pine nuts. I ran out of normal nuts so I wanted something crunchy and that's it apparently. I always say peanut butter with this one but it's actually almond butter but it's the dark chocolate Cornish sea salt almond butter from Pippin Nut and it is limited edition at the moment but I am trying to stockpile it like a crazy woman because it is so so good. There was one year they did chocolate orange and it was incredible, but I think this one actually trumps it. Hello everybody. I am back after a brief hiatus this afternoon where I just had the longest meeting in the world and had an afternoon of editing. I'm at Ryan's now just attempting to park up, but the traffic around here is horrendous and people don't care that you need to park, so they're all just driving around me staring at me. Yeah, I have finished work for the day and I've just remembered that I need to clean my car out tomorrow, literally just get all of my, oh god I'm doing a really bad job at this. I need to just get all of the little bits and bobs that are in my car out of my car tomorrow because apparently in the next couple of days my new car is going to be ready for pickup. I'm literally so excited, I've not really had a lot to get excited about for a long time <laughs> so i'm so happy so yeah hopefully that's what we're going to be doing together at some point this week in this vlog is picking up my new car i will miss this one it has been so good to me yeah that is a job for tomorrow let's clear this out like i've still got you know when you just got like air fresheners and stuff and receipts the guys at audi do not need to be cleaning that out so that is tomorrow's job but for now i am going to get in see ryan see the baby i think we're gonna go for a walk as well hello hello This is the face of someone that has just spent two hours on a 15 second reel. Good morning everybody, I've just filmed my makeup for a reel, as you will have just seen. And it has taken a long time, but I'm really loving this makeup look. This is kind of like my everyday makeup at the moment. This lip cream is just beautiful. This is the Forever Liquid in the shade Nude 100. It is just the prettiest colour. It like dries, it's a cream, but it dries down to like pretty much a matte, which I love. And it was slightly unexpected as well, but I just love the colour, it's perfect. It's so rare that like high-end brands get nudes like right, they're normally very mauvey, but this one is so beautiful. <laughs> choosing music.
I have just finished Losing the World to Live, picking some YouTube music. <laughs> Found some quite fun ones. When it comes to choosing any music on YouTube, on Instagram, I lose the will. I just honestly. Miss Nala is also losing the will. <laughs> She's sick of hearing it. And my fourth battery of the day is flashing at me. Be right back. But anyway, you don't care. But I have something very exciting to show you. I'm very excited about this. I am very eager to open these boxes. I have two pairs of shoes. One, which I am not going to show you today because I'm going to save it for a specific video. Maybe I'll just show you both. Oh my goodness, aren't these just the prettiest sandals? I'm obsessed. I've been literally eyeing these up for months now. I actually got a high street version first to see how I felt about them and I just loved them so much. And these ones were a lot more minimal across the bridge of the foot, which I love. So I picked them up in this gorgeous, like, it's, like, it's definitely a brown, but it's got a little hint of green in it to my eye, but that always like disappears on camera. If anyone remembers my last video where there was the khaki suit, which literally just looks brown on camera, I'm not sure why that happens. What the hell? I'll show you the other ones too. I'm just so excited. I can't not share. So backstory and spoiling all of my secrets that I was just alluding to. I was looking at dresses to wear to a wedding that we've got in August and these are the shoes that I picked up. Basically, I just really wanted these shoes and I thought that a friend's wedding was actually quite a good excuse to buy a new pair of shoes but these are just going to be on my feet any occasion that i can possibly get in over the summer i'm so obsessed with them they're like a little bit like rattany but really like minimal oh my god i just love them they've got this amazing wooden heel i'm so so obsessed with them i've literally been eyeing them up for so long and i love that they're in this like beautiful tan color which is going to be very minimal on me it will kind of like work with my skin tone quite well and be more of a like nude tone so it has a nice bit of texture but nothing too overly crazy and it shouldn't take away from anything that i choose to wear so yeah there will be a video coming up where i share some of the things i've picked out as like potentials but i still like i'm completely not set on anything so i'm excited to get your opinions on what you think works what you think doesn't work weddings are so tricky because they're so personal to like couples and then you as an individual and then like the wedding itself like the location all of that but yeah i'm excited to see what you all think so that video will be coming up very soon i am waiting on my last dress which i think is arriving tomorrow and then hopefully i will carve out some time to do that i literally honestly i think i'm about to have the busiest summer i've ever had i used to have really quiet summers like crickets and um, there'd be travel but no like projects like big projects and they were all split either side and now everything's just really crazy all the time i am not complaining i'm gonna try these on now oh i'm so excited so i got these in a size five and i am praying that they fit hello do you like the shoes so i know that these shoes are gonna be a little bit of a marmite one not everyone loves an ugly shoe, um, but I think right now we're all going to have to just accept each other's personal differences, you know? So these are what they look like. I love them. I think they're so cool. I really like the fact that the bridge of the foot is so, so minimal. What do you think? Do you like them? Okay, I've changed my top because things were getting a bit faffy whilst I was trying to... Uh, take shoes on and off. Very, very happy with those. And they have a little bit of room, which is good because during summer, I definitely want to allow for a tiny bit of room for my feet to kind of swell up a bit because they do that. These are so cool. I love them with this outfit too. You can just literally see the little toe loop. It's kind of cool. This bit is the main event though, really, isn't it? It's just so amazing. And that heel, that heel. <laughs> I love these. They are so cool. I might just sit here and stare at them. <laughs> Honestly, roll on next Monday when I can put on a pair of heels and go out to dinner. I am honestly beyond excited.
we have two very hungry girls. My dinner is ready. In case anyone is wondering, yes, I do like cheese <laughs> and a lot of pepper. So we have chili, baked beans, cheesy waffles, sausages. The noisiest eater ever. Yeah, I really wasn't feeling cooking today, so this is it for me. So I've been getting a lot of questions on what I put in my iced latte in the morning at the moment. Lots of confusion and guessing over the two different types of milk. They're both oat milk. Normally I do this with the same brand, I'm not gonna lie, but I basically just buy whatever is cheapest from the shop. So we have Alpro oat milk and Oatly oat milk, which is chocolate oat milk this week. Can you tell I sound tired? Someone stayed up editing and watching the originals until one in the morning. <laughs> so most of the glass is filled up with just regular oat milk and then I top up with my chocolate oat milk, which I normally just have in the house to make hot chocolates with because it is easier and tastier than actually like having to find a hot chocolate powder that I like that doesn't have like milk powder and blah, blah, blah. This is my preferred way to make hot chocolate, but it also tastes delicious in a coffee. So that is what I've been adding in. That's the extra one because lots of people are like, are you putting almond milk in with your oat milk? No, oat milk all the way. I love oat milk, but I just add in a dash of chocolate and it works really beautifully with this syrup in particular it smalls it just oh it's so so delicious it basically tastes like the latte version of the starbucks s'mores frappuccino which lots of you will know if you watch my channel for years i have loved since the trip to america in like 2015 2016. Good morning everybody. It is finally the day. It is new car day. I, this week has been a lot. I haven't vlogged a lot because everything has kind of opened back up this week and I feel like socially the world is kind of like adjusting and work-wise work has been so full on this week so crazy which is amazing and i am not complaining because i love being busy and my brain has definitely been in overdrive oh my god they're reversing a car in right next to me it is finally new car day so i thought i would check in with you i have just got to the audi showroom i am so tired i have not slept i have a lump under my eye because i'm so run down <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm getting really distracted by the car next to me. I think it might be my car. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. It is new car day. So I am at the Audi showroom. I am going to go in. I need to like be shown how to use all the things because this car has a few more things than I have in my car. I'm going to continue to drink my coffee. It's been such a busy morning. I've had like two sips of coffee and that is not normal. Normally I've like sunk a coffee by now, but it's been that kind of like busy week where I just haven't had the chance to catch my breath. So I'm going to go in chill learn how to use my new car and yeah i'm really excited so i'm going to show you what i've got this is like i think one of my dream cars like i love cars i don't know if that's a bit weird i don't know i just, i love cars i've always loved cars since i was a teenager i really liked like learning like car brands really weird so yeah this is one of my dream cars i'm gonna say one of because there are lots of cars that i would like to have but i'm not that much of a bougie you know so yeah this one i have been so looking forward to for so long it's been on my vision board for so long i'll pop a little sneak peek of my vision board here so yeah we are gonna go in oh by the way my outfit is in my what i wore in a week so i will link that at the top of the screen if you want to know what outfit this is but yeah i'm very excited so let's go and yeah pray for me because i actually haven't driven in such a long time that i've been so scared my leg was shaking on the way here because i'm not used to like busy rush hour traffic your girl was scared oh my goodness She's so pretty. <laughs> I am literally so excited and so nervous all at the same time. How's the new car? <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed right now. This is a lot. She's so pretty. I dress to match the car today. Well. Yeah, I like really neutral. White with a little bit of black. I've already made myself at home, as you can see. I'm so excited. I'm She's so, so excited. big. And we've can't already booked, really see, but... We've already booked a road trip, haven't we? Yeah. In July. I've got to drive this now. I don't know how we're getting out of the yeah. showroom. We're okay. actually stuck. <laughs> I came in and Sam was like, yeah, that's your car. I was like, no, but this can't be my car because it's inside. Why is my car inside? I know. I was on the phone to the insurance and I was like, Susie, Susie, this is your car. Susie. <laughs> Didn't even notice. He was like pointing and I was like, what? Have I missed something? Was there a one-way system that I was meant to go around? By the way, I'm allowed to wear, not wear a mask right now because I'm in my own car. In theory. I'm just rolling with it because I want to talk to you, but I'm going to put it back on the second I get out. I was like, why is my car inside? I'm so confused. I feel like COVID just adds extra anxiety. Oh my God, so much extra anxiety. I had a dream that, that I got here and the car was green. I basically said to Sam when I came in, I was like, he was like, Did, are you okay? I was like, I haven't slept. I had a dream that the car was green. That and the fact that I linked in him, he must think I'm oh my God. crazy. When you said that, I was like, this is so awkward. Please no, like swallow me. <laughs> I saved it. Yeah, you did. It made sense why you did it. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> I basically check that everyone that I speak to is a real person. Which is good because there's a lot of scams at the moment. Yeah. I don't trust anyone. No. So when someone gives me a really good car deal, I kind of don't believe that they're legit. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Sam? <laughs> Honestly, I need to go home and I need to get to... <laughs> You need to get practiced in driving this car. I know. I feel like I need to go to a car park and like relearn how to drive. We can do that. I actually think I need to do that. Siri doesn't like me in this car though. I asked him to play Ryan and he started playing Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, don't like Ryan. <laughs> no, no. I like Justin. <laughs> it is my car. <laughs> yeah. But Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, I need gosh. to come up with a name for her. My first car was called Sasha. Guys, can you come up with a pretty S name in the comments, please? We like an S name. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Thank you to Guns First because they very kindly gave me to me because I posted about peonies at the weekend. The post got a lot of likes. They got more likes than a selfie. I mean, peonies are pretty. Peonies are pretty. And you bought a lot of peonies to be yeah. fair. New car and flowers. <laughs> That's 
it's okay. It's been a great day. Everybody, I have just spent, I've actually had the best morning. It's Friday. I actually was feeling very like overwhelmed, but really happy yesterday. Like I think I've been socializing a lot this week and there's been a lot on and it's been very stressful, but it almost felt like my old life. So I was feeling very content at the same time. Real strange mixture of emotions. Yeah, it was a really lovely day that I had yesterday. And I really got the hang in the end of driving the new car. It's very strange because I'm higher up and the car is slightly bigger, but it feels a little bit smaller and I'm just kind of trying to get used to those dimensions but oh, I'm so happy it's so nice like I can see it on the drive and it's just to me I feel like I have just always had it and I was meant to have it and I'm just feeling very happy and very grateful but yeah it's Friday so this morning I got up and I got to see something very exciting two of my friends that live very close by they have had their second baby girl and I went to my local like coffee shop and had a coffee with them this morning and got baby cuddles and oh my god it was just she's so small so small <laughs> honestly I'm tearing up thinking about the, this so small week old baby oh my god it was great so I had a lovely morning and then I've just come home I've been filming these outfits that you can see hanging up here for a wedding guest dress try on video I actually put a little snippet of these on Instagram and I would say like 90% of people guessed correctly which is so rare so so rare normally you get some really rogue suggestions and you're like no guys no but actually everyone was so on it with this so many people were like if it's not that please can I have it and I was like oh you're gonna be so happy because that is the video that is coming so yeah I am so excited sneak peek yeah, there we go. But yeah, so, so happy with everything from that video. And I just threw this on from an and other stories order that I was very kindly gifted. And I was like, do you know what? The people need to see this because this set is so cute. So we have this little ribbed, like oatmeal-y, biscuity coloured set, which is just so lovely i am really happy with this i'd been eyeing their like active wear up for so long and i'm so excited to finally be trying it it's like this lovely ribs feel but it doesn't have like a knitted feel to it like i was expecting it's almost like legging material but with a rib it's so interesting but i just love the color i think it's going to be really nice for like chilling out around the house this is very bright it's coming off very gray there we go ah so much better. So yeah, I think it's gonna be nice for like chilling in, really, really comfy, as well as actually being active in, you know? Yeah, I'm so happy with this. I got it in a size small and I have a few other bits that I wanted to show you guys too. So we have this dress, which you will have seen me wearing yesterday. I don't know if you saw it on, so I will do a try and clip of that for you. But it's this gorgeous, long ribbed knitted dress. It's got a real like kind of thickness and structure to it. And I just love it. It's got a lovely wrap tie waist and i have one that's a little bit like this from all saints which i wear in the winter but the neck is a lot higher and it's more of a whitey tone whereas this is like much creamier very like spring summer appropriate and then i have these earrings which i am really excited to try on and then these sandals which if you've seen these sandals over here you can't really see them very well but this is the black version i'm so happy to have those they're just super smart and then i've got this dress which i've been eyeing up for so long this is gonna need a little seam actually i hope the length is gonna be good on me let's have a look wow this is gonna be a maxi dress for me but i'm gonna make it work i think it will look so cool with these shoes so this is what the dress looks like on very long on me but find me a midi dress that isn't quite frankly but i really love it with the very simple little sandals poking out from the bottom. It is so light and so lovely, but really nice and structured. I think it would be really nice for kind of like garden parties. I have some dresses in this style that are more casual, but this definitely lends itself to being a little bit more dressy. And I really like that. I think just with a really simple sleek bun, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, very happy with this. I can't remember what size I got. Here we go. I got a size 36. Yeah, I really love it. And finally, this is the dress I was wearing yesterday. It's a little bit more creased today than it was yesterday. You guys will have seen this if you watched my what I wore in a week, my last one. I obviously wore it with a different shoe. I wore it with my Chanel black sliders, which was really cute. And yeah, I just love the tie waist of this. I think it's so cool. And it's like this lovely ribbed texture, nice like high neckline, but not too high. Like I managed to get this on without ruining my hair or makeup, which is goals. <laughs> Thank you.
Now they're trying to sit on me in the same style that I'm sitting. So she's got one like here and one like over here. That cannot be comfortable for you. What are you doing? like well into the afternoon. I stayed at Ryan's last night and I had every, every intention of vlogging, but I think I actually just got a bit overexcited because we hadn't seen each other in a few days and I was just like, no, I just wanna like have dinner, watch friends, like properly chill out. It was such a nice evening. And we had a nice slow morning. Ryan cooked breakfast, it was so good. He made like a tofu scramble and it was actually really good. Unexpected, I know. I'm not really one for tofu normally, but it was really good. But now I'm putting some makeup on. I'm just using my Fenty concealer when I'm not wearing makeup i like to kind of just put a little bit of concealer on normally around this outer part my skin gets a little bit dark around here so i'm just gonna tap that in and i already put my spf on this morning and then i put the chanel of course beauty water but it's the le beige sorry i'm back my battery died as i was saying i was using the le beige fresh water tint from chanel which i love it works so nicely over my spf my spf gives me like a tiny tiny bit of coverage like it always like lifts my scarring a little bit and makes my skin look really perfect so this over the top just brings like some life back to my skin because i do find that spf especially if it's a good one can kind of be thick and have a little bit of a white cast so that kind of like counteracts and just brings the life back to my skin and also just it's super hydrating really glowy as you can see the forehead is shiny af which i love and i also just popped some of this in my brows so this is the fiber gel from MAC in the shade Spiked. And this kind of elongates them, thickens them, and just adds like a tint as well, which I really like. So normally when I'm at Ryan's on the weekend, those are the two products that I have on my face, as well as my SPF. And then a little bit of By Terry Balm de Rose, which sometimes I like, but I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, I definitely need a little bit of extra something on my lips. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add a bit of bronzer. I actually have some new bronzers. I got a few bits from Tom Ford. So I got their bronzers, and then there's a highlighter duo. This is the highlighter duo it's just absolutely beautiful i've actually i think i've had this before and it's just so lovely works really nicely for eyes as well but then i also got these for eyes too which i won't be using today but i'll probably use these coming up so if you see my eye makeup change it'll be these but these are the tom ford cream and powder eye colors this one's in the shade golden peach so you have this like gorgeous creamy texture underneath and then a powder pigment on the top that's really like shimmery and that is so that one's so beautiful i've never had that shade before but yeah i thought i'd try out the bronzer this morning i really don't want to use this like it's so it's got this lovely like texture patterned in like a diamond texture patterned into it with the tf logo oh so pretty but yeah seeing as i ooh, that's so warm and nice seeing as i put my spf on anyway because we were coming from ryan's to mine like it's really dark today so dark but i still put my spf on because we were getting in the car and coming here. Love, love that. Oh, I've been hard pressed to find anything at the moment that I like more than the Giorgio Armani bronzer that I've been using. I'll link it in the info box because I can't remember the name of it. And I don't know if you saw recently, I think I showed it in a vlog. Actually, I'll, I'll go get it, I'll get it because this really shows my love of this bronzer. This is the Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. It has very similar packaging to the Neo Nude, but more like brownie tones. But yeah, that is how much I love this bronzer. I'm still like scraping around it. And I have been trying a few other bronzers, like really gorgeous high-end bronzers, but I still keep going back to this. This is like coming up close i really really like this and i think i'm also just gonna try the highlight whilst i'm here i think it would be really rude not to so i'm gonna use the goldie kind of tone recently i've just found i love 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 highlighter like even on a no makeup makeup day it makes me feel so nice like so pulled together love that love that so much so if you're looking for like some really nice beauty bits to treat yourself to these tom ford compacts are it so we have the sheer highlight duo in reflect guilt that is the highlighter i just used and then we have the glow bronzer in o2 terra i will link them they're so lovely thank you very much to tom ford for sending those over to me i'm gonna save the little eyeshadows probably for my next vlog because i just don't want to touch my eyes today because it's a little bit sore i have some new bits from hourglass as well that i thought i would test this morning these are so pretty so these i think are their lip velvets and i have the shade 
Hint, Indulge, and Pure. I feel like Hint is gonna be my go-to because it's the lighter one. Oh, that's so nice. It's like a peachy nude. And then I'm just gonna tap that in. I really enjoy doing this with literally every single lipstick lip product that I wear. So that is today's No Makeup Makeup Saturday look. Really pretty and really glowy. I'm just gonna comb through my eyebrows because they're living life on the wild side apparently today. <laughs> brunch a nice way to start my monday morning and now i am heading back home i've got today's video that i need to go through so many little like worky bits lots of chores i've got some wonder webbing to do because my trousers need taking up story of my life i'm hopefully gonna have a blog post up if it is up by now i will link to it which is gonna be my top brunch spots in brighton for anyone that is thinking of traveling down yeah i will link to that if i manage to get that up by the time this video is live but if not it is coming yeah i've worn this lovely little springy number the shirt is from zara and then i'm wearing my like white asos trousers which i love so much but anyway that is going to be my day today a little car update just for anyone who is wondering i'm getting on with it really well just kind of like getting used to like the touch on like clutch and accelerator and everything is very different to my old car because it's obviously so much newer for anyone wondering it's an audi q2 sport and yeah and i'm very very happy with it it's got so many great little things like it's got cute speakers which are like bang and olsen and it has heated seats which are just my favorite thing front and rear sensors and a parking camera which is just life honestly so happy with it and i obviously got it in the white there were a lot of people on friday when i was posting on instagram about it being new car day friday thursday i think i posted on friday lots of people saying what color so I hope you guys <laughs> I hope you guys love my very basic choice in car color but I love it so anyway just to go through some questions that I thought I might be asked which I definitely didn't go through the other day because I was just so overexcited but yeah that is going to be it for me today I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog I actually really enjoyed watching this vlog back so I hope you guys have enjoyed it too I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you guys again very soon bye